and good morning everyone good to see you paul tranny here thank you so much for your patience um yes my name is paul tranny and i'm gonna dive into sort of what's new this week we'll go into dive into our guests and all that stuff uh and uh some tips resources inspiration all that good stuff and i should see michelle's contents or comment so i know we're good to go all right but welcome michelle barbara susan wilson is here frank's here sean's here andreas is here ah everyone yes that's right stony welcome everybody uh thank you so much yeah i wore a different shirt other than black <clears throat> excuse me which i usually wear just to hide my mic just because it makes it sound out less but i do want to make sure you guys can hear me so i'm so happy for uh, to have you guys as my friends and co-workers and uh, colleagues and all that stuff. So yeah, let's just get inspired together. And again, I'm so glad you guys are here joining me today. So many uh, amazing resources that I'm looking at now. You can see actually on the screen, we have some uh, uh, pretty cool guests as well. So uh, Julian, hopefully you're into them. Uh, yes, uh, illustrate illustrating a monster portrait with Crick. Chris Blackstock, there's my voice. Hello, all right, Jan. Uh, so Chris is awesome, can show you some of his work. Um, and then also we have designing a plant matching app with uh, Taria Tolbert. So um, I'm totally into plants and that actually, um, actually brings up one of our uh, resources for today as well, which will be pretty cool. So, um, Let's just kind of jump out and show you the black stock and all these amazing people and artists as I kind of click through some of these today. Give me one second. This is just Monday and Tuesday, so yesterday and today. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen in a second. So just give me one second. All right. Love it when things work. There I am. Fantastic. So Chris Blackstock, again, we've had him on the live stream before. Amazing guy, amazing illustrator, and we have day two. Um, so yes, all the usual suspects, but Chris is awesome. Like, yeah, Chris, I want to be you, right? Some of your work reminds me of Aaron Blaze, right? Who does animals, uh, has done a lot of work for Disney and uh, does some fun caricatures of animals, but so cool. Chris, you're amazing, and we get you for day two, uh, starting in about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be in about an hour. Exactly an hour, okay, cool. All right, uh, let's go beyond that. Let's take a look at some other uh, projects. Of course, Taria Tolbert, digital project designer for Left Field Labs. Uh, which is fun. Here's your plant care app. There you go. Never kill a plant. I do it all the time. Shame on me, right? How come I can't keep succulents alive? Am I overwatering them? I don't think so. Maybe I am. All right. So Kimmy's in the house. Good to have you here. Bliss as well. So again, pretty awesome. I don't know if you guys have a sort of a natural knack for killing plants like I do, but I'm really into this. I'm really into the design of all this, by the way. Because what do you do with these sort of like fun nebulous shapes? Uh, she actually put an additional shape behind it to kind of ground it. Otherwise, this is just kind of like floating around and your mind kind of wants to ground things and make things feel stable, <laughs> like visually. So that's why I think this, this simple line in the background is uh, totally what makes it work. So anyways, pretty cool. She goes through all that. We have her for day two today, which is awesome. So now you know what's going on there. Uh, also Wednesday and Thursday, just kind of give you a sneak peek ahead. And again, I just like getting inspired by these um, awesome designers and illustrators and photographers. Um, you guys probably know that I actually kind of into, uh, of course, compositing. And we have building alternate realities in Photoshop with Katrina Yu. So super excited about her work as well. Again, you can see it right here. This is gonna be on Wednesday and Thursday, and we can kind of take a look. Okay, this is cool. Fun uh, Photoshop composite, making these alternate realities. It makes sense, right? She's painting and then it's coming to life, right? And that's what I want my work to do, come to life, right? 
Uh, and again, we can spend so much time on her portfolio. Right in here, you can see from sort of dusk into um, stars, into uh, the sort of like uh, the continents of the world, right? So again, makes sense. And I like this type of design, right? It's all just kind of makes sense. Lost cities, oh, how fun is that? There's a city underneath that we're not aware of, so super cool. Two weeks until Adobe Max, that's right. That's gonna be one of our announcements not to worry. But again, Katrina Yu is awesome and uh, really looking forward to her work. Uh, also, again, we have something for everyone. Um, we'll get into graphic design with Ariadne, and I'm probably mispronouncing her name. Vidard, she'll probably correct me on uh, Wednesday and Thursday uh, from Canada. Again, creating a typographic zine uh, is what's happening. And again, super fun. It's cool to, you know, take a look at these artists and designers and uh, yeah, see what they can do and learn from them. Totally into it. All right. Cool. Uh, just checking up on chat. Welcome, everybody. If you're joining me elsewhere, I'm taking a look at your chat. Hello, Afroja. I see you out there. Muriel. Um, yes. Hello. Hello. Cool. Again, cool work coming from uh, Ariadne, right? Bedard. And this is just some of her work, as you can tell. She's going to be creating a typographic zine, and I'm just reviewing her behance there. You get the idea. Okay. Cool. Reverb Mike, what's up? Hopefully that Max guy shows up this year. That's right. Oh, I love this font. Oh no, stop it already. Stop it. Stop it already. Look at this. Great font. Totally in love with it. Look at this. Oh yeah, guilty. Love it. So good. So simple. And this is why I admire graphic designers, right? Uh, a lot of times more is less. Get dressed, it helps. Anybody, did you guys put on pants today? I put on shorts. <laughs> Turn off your phone, uh, read more books, or listen to audiobooks. That's kind of what I do as well. Listening to some Seth Godin called The Practice currently. All right, so that's who we have this week. Super fun, and to kind of lead into what chat is talking about, we'll dive into news. All right, and you guessed it, our um, first big announcement, and this will be for the next couple weeks, uh, is uh, basically Adobe Max happening in, basically starting Tuesday, October 26th. So you have exactly two weeks. Know that we're gonna have the opening keynote at 9 a.m., and then we actually have regional keynotes as well. So there's some on the 27th, and uh, in the, well, you can see the times right there. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, EMEA's in the, actually it looks like, anyways, all the times are listed there. So we're gonna basically have regional keynotes uh, led by different people. So I know Rufus Deutschler, I think is leading the one in EMEA. And then we have an APAC one in Japan. So that's kind of what's going on. Tune in for the main one, honestly. Um, October 26th, 9 a.m. Should be a lot of fun. Cool. Uh, yeah, some Seth videos. You watch some Joanne Locke? Awesome, Joanna. That's cool. I like I like Seth. His stuff. Mm. Some of that stuff's like like easy to agree with, uh, but it makes a lot of sense. You know, it's very his stuff is very quotable if you ask me, but it's inspirational. And hey, whatever whatever gets you there, whatever gets you up in the morning, uh, is what I'd like to say. Um, Oh shoot, let's see if this is here. Sorry about that. Can we talk about a little bit about, about branding uh, sort of in pop culture? Because I don't know if you guys watched Saturday Night Live this Saturday night, but um, I really like the, the prop branding that uh, they did. And so let me just go ahead and switch to my screen really fast. I don't know if you guys saw this. It was like they were lampooning hard seltzer. So here he is holding a JCPenney. Uh, oh, I can't quite read that one. Let's scroll down a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Since so many companies are coming up with coming out with uh, hard seltzers, here's JCPenney's hard seltzer called Men's Jackets. 
But anyways, it was really cool to see this like branding like front and center for these like fake hard seltzer brands, which was fun to look at and hilarious at the same time. Hey, Jiffy Lube, spiked seltzer, right? Variety pack. <laughs> so look at their different, if you look closely at these, like lemon, lime, berry, peach, oil change, and then orange, which is hilarious. Did you guys see this? Super funny. So this is uh, from the sketch group, Please Don't Destroy. So that's uh, basically their name. And they came up with all these fun labels, which is, I think is pretty cool. All right, so JCPenney, very generic, totally into it. And it's a lot of fun, so I don't know. I got a kick out of this. Hopefully you did as well. Um, yeah, I'm into it. Uh, I actually have uh, my, my, my niece is dating this guy who has his own seltzer as well called, uh, it's called Bear Paw. Instead of White Claw, it's actually called Bear, Bear Paw Hard Seltzer. So uh, yeah, literally have a, you know, relative that's in the business, which is hilarious. Right on, Sean. Old school. Some Jack Handy. Jack Handy quote. Is that right? Is that Jack Handy? Gosh, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong, Sean. I'm... Oh, I can't remember who said that. Okay. Yeah, so, Carrie, lately I've had some of the worst hard seltzers, but selling because of branding. Perfect. That design company is doing their job right so they're making it happen again pretty hilarious i thought that was a lot of fun and i like seeing sort of design front and center in pop culture um so yeah you get the idea that's all i have for news right there's not a whole lot going on uh in general which is okay but there's a lot of resources out there so that's why i'm gonna skip two resources and some more fun things right uh, uh all right, Michelle, not a dumb question. Feel free to answer. Um, yeah, hard seltzer is a spiked, it's a spiked sparkling water, basically. Stuart Smalley, I'm Sean, is that? I'm sorry, Sean, Stuart Smalley, Stuart Smalley. Oh, so good. All right, so let's move on to, again, in pop culture, if we look at No Time to Die. Let's take a look at this really fast. Let me switch over. Brands of the world. So here's some resources. Brands of the world. We can check out brands of the world. Fonts in use and font meme as well. Um, let me go to those. Uh, fonts in use. Wait for it. Brands of the world. And then font meme, which is pretty darn good as well. Oh, gosh. Where is it? Okay, no time to die title font. There we go. Okay, let me switch over now. Here we go. So, um, yeah, anyways, I thought this was kind of cool. So these sites actually kind of show fonts and branding sort of out in the wild. So font meme, I just did a search. You could search right up here for no time to die, which I'm so excited about this movie. But then it's like, hey, what, um, what font is this, by the way? Right, so that's that's a question you might have because it really does stand out. It's a stencil type font, but right down here they jump in and tell you. So it's a Futura Black uh, that uses stencil letter forms. So you, really, you can jump out and get that font if you want to, right? Just like that. And again, you can pay for it. I encourage you to, right? Because that's how you're gonna get this actual font, Futura Black. Standard, regular, so now you can tell your friend, oh, there's Futura Black, when you go see the movie and you can act smart because you're a designer and that's what we do, I guess. So, um, also you can do that in uh, Photoshop. So you can try your best, like you could use this with, um, uh, of course, I've shown this before. I showed this just a couple weeks ago, but you could always use uh, Photoshop, match font, boom. It's gonna go through and try to match this font and it's gonna serve up some stencil type fonts in here. So uh, Poplar, uh, Stenciletta, right, is one that I've actually already downloaded, and then a couple others, all kind of stencil-based fonts because it recognizes it as a stencil. Since this is part of Creative Cloud, I actually get it for free, all that good stuff, and Stenciletta uh, Bold, I can go ahead and select that, it puts that in my cache, and then I can click, and then you can see that this is 
sort of like your free, provided you are in Creative Cloud, gives me this one, which I kind of like this one, by the way, kind of into this angle, uh, which is kind of neat. So anyways, just thought I'd show you sort of brands of the world. Um, font meme is where I'm at now. Here's brands of the world. You can type in, type in a logo and you can get that brand, at least what's out there in public. We don't contribute to it. The brands don't contribute to it, um, but people do upload logos. Obviously, this is an old Dreamweaver logo. Yeah, right. And then we have fonts in use. So you can actually jump out here and say, hey, we can type in uh, Futura. Let's see where Futura is being used. Maybe you're like, hey, Futura Black, for instance, we can see where else it's been used in pop culture, right? And again, I just think this is a pretty sweet site. So now you know. Uh, oh, Logopedia. Oh, it's been a while since I've been to that. Uh, gosh, logopedia.com. Is that what it is? Let's just jump out there. Uh, hello, Afroja. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm, I might not be in the right spot, but anyways, yeah, check that out. Brands of the world as well. You could also, by the way, you could still use uh, Photoshop and then there's plugins. So rather than using um, brands of the world, there's this thing called Brand Fetch. So this is a plugin that I have in Photoshop and I can jump out here and I can type in Adobe, for instance. Oh, invalid. Oh shoot, now it breaks on me. Sure enough, I didn't test this, but I just downloaded it. Uh, Apple. Ah, oh, why is it? Well, anyways, it's serving up the brands. Let's type Adobe again, A-D-O-B-E. Oh, you could type in a URL. So this is what I need to go to, Adobe. Here I get the logos, the colors, and then a fun banner, right? So again, it's kind of pulling from Adobe, and now I can drop in, say, this Adobe logo um, as I start to meld these two brands together. Why not? Thank you, Sean. Adobe.com. I need to type in the URL. So super cool resources. Yeah, I agree. My fonts, what the font? Okay, good. Yeah, um, there's plugins for this stuff too, Ingrid, uh, as you probably know. Um, kind of off script for me, but uh, if I just kind of jump out, right up here I use, uh, what, to, uh, what font? So again, I can go ahead and take a look at what font is on this page. Looks like it's used Rooney Sans. Right, that's the main font being used on this website. So this is good for sort of UX, UI, if you're doing any sort of website design to see what fonts are being used out there. So you get the idea. Just kind of clicking around and it looks like it pins it everywhere. All right, let's move on from there. Let's have some fun. Let's get into resources. Let's get into some creative. Hey, let's dive into creative. I don't have much time, so I'm just gonna kind of switch over and take a look at some fun things to get you inspired, if that's okay, right? Like this work, ah, oh, amazing, right? It's just by artist 192, right? Kyoto, Japan. But tell me these colors, oh, sorry, I gotta switch screens. Tell me these colors are not amazing. Let's switch over. Uh, so right up here, Winter, Winter Work 192 is the name of this. Uh, designer on Behance, but again, I'm just bragging about these amazing colors being used. Used, So cool, right? Absolutely love this stuff, right? Makes these pop, they stand out. Yeah, Winter Wonderland. Such, a, such control being used in these gradients. And they're so soft that you'll, you'll hardly even notice the smooth gradients, say, on her face. Like, look at that. Let's zoom in on that. It's like, there's a slight cool tone right in here. Just so impressed with this work. Again, just getting you inspired. That's designer 192. You guys know I like flowers. This is uh, basically Breathing Love Underwater Volume 2 by a number of designers from China and Hong Kong. But these are flowers underwater. Like, again, just a cool creative idea, right? And plus, you know I love flowers, right? And uh, they don't actually tell exactly how they did it, but it looks like these flowers are either underwater or it's some sort of um, 
3D manipulation or Photoshop work they did to make these photos underwater. And they're just gorgeous, right? I would want these as a desktop, on my desktop as a, a desktop background. Yeah, no, no need for fonts, just use for future for everything. That's kind of, I know you're kind of joking around, Jan Eric, but yes, it's true. Us as designers, we, we, we have 5,000 fonts on our laptop, but end up only using, say, um, you know, 10 sort of thing. So anyways, I love this work. Hopefully you do as well. Some serving up some fresh work. Here's some from Made Up Studio. Uh, as you can see, uh, type for advertising, this is 2021. So again, they go through the process and just showing you some graphic design work. Barriers don't stand a chance, right? There's the vector work. And then here is the sort of final work and it should also be animated. So let's check this out. There you go. Barriers don't stand a chance. Sort of taking their work to the next level with some fun animation, as you can see. And uh, again, I thought that was cool. Level up, lightning moves, coach boss, men's power. So this level up, they go through that process as well. The vectorization to the colorization to adding a little bit of 3D to it. And then also where it would appear within their uh, all their branding assets. So, so thank you, uh, Michelle. You guys are awesome. Logica studios hello so again i can go on and on this adulting one is great again you're gonna have lots of ideas guess what most of them suck just kidding <laughs> but it's true i'm like oh why does this you either gotta convince yourself it's good or just start on a different design right and that's what happens here it's like let's try all these things and then finally landing on sort of the design that works, right? It's okay to fail because that's when you learn and when you grow. So sometimes you like you force things and they don't work. I've I've been there a thousand times. Oh, I tell you, right? But again, this is really cool. Adulting with Tila and Nia, which is a, such a cool uh, cover uh, art for this podcast. So yeah. You guys get the idea. I only have a couple minutes, which means I'm gonna start a brand new project. Oh yeah, let's challenge myself. We talked, I did this the other day and I don't think people really liked it, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's try this. I'm gonna convert this to a small uh, smart object. Let's see if my machine will, Command J, Command T, flip horizontal. I was just gonna make a small world because I just released a tutorial on this um, about a week ago through uh, through the Photoshop website. We'll typically make the left side match up with the right side. We'll save that, we'll close it. And again, I'm just kind of showing you guys some pro tips. I feel like this is an oldie but goodie. Um, from here, let's just go ahead and make this square. So we'll do uh, canvas size. We'll do 3000 by 3000 and really just showing you polar coordinates. So I'm gonna take this, shrink it down. You're probably wondering what some of these tools in Photoshop are used for. We'll flip, uh, well, sure, we could flip vertically. There we go, boom, boom. It's center, top, center, filter, distort, polar coordinates. I'm just making a small world really fast. We can take a look at it here. I'll just click OK because I'm running out of time. And there's like our small world. Ooh, small world. Let's resize it, not to worry. Let's see what happens when it does that. Oh, interesting. OK. So anyways, there's the small world I just made within a couple moves. So I did a tutorial on this last week and you got the 30 second version of a minute long of a two minute long tutorial. So you guys get the idea. Uh, and from here, yeah, let's animate this. Let's have it rotate. Let's put some clouds in there. Let's have some fun with this and uh, just making it all work. Because guess what? It is kind of a small world when you're broadcasting to the world. So uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And uh, don't forget to always kind of like uh, hit me up. If you guys have any questions or anything, you can see my social media right here. So let's keep the conversation going and all that good stuff. So um you got it. Hey, I get it. I got everything done, even though I started a little bit late. But appreciate you guys. Let's stay in touch. Let's keep the conversation going. And uh, stay tuned. Daily Creative Challenge coming up next. And 
um, some amazing designers this week, starting with Chris Blackstock in 30 minutes. Thanks so much, everybody. See y'all soon.